Hey guys, Tarp Recycling FPV, and this is gonna be kind of a different video because I don't have any hardware for this video. This is actually gonna be me trying to be an artist here, and I use that term very loosely because I'm not an artist. Uh, let me just try to get the computer screen up and running as well if possible so that I can show you what we're talking about. But really what we're gonna do is we're gonna be looking here. Okay, so let's look at this pad of paper right here because I'm gonna be drawing this out. This is for a customer of mine who asked a question on how to wire his ESC. So I'm gonna draw this. I'm not even gonna go to the computer right now. Just just don't make fun of my poor drawing, okay? So <clears throat> let me go back to one of the pictures real quickly uh, and draw what I'm seeing. So we have a flight controller, okay? And the flight controller looks <clears throat> like this. So I'm just gonna draw a square. I'm not even drawing this properly, but let's just draw a square. Here's our flight controller, okay? Okay, and uh, we're gonna just put FC right here. Okay, now there are two plugs on this flight controller. There's one here, and then I'm looking at his picture while he's doing this, and so there's one there, and there is one here. Okay, now, this one has the numbers, uh, let me look here. Uh, I think it goes, I think it's uh, ground, and then, well, let me use a pen for this. It's gonna be ground, then S1, S2, S3, S4 for your signal pads, okay? And then here, he's got, uh, he's got four plugs here, but what matters is the battery and the ground. Okay, now he's got an ESC, and this is where I have to now flip back over, so bear with me a second again. Uh, S1, S2, S3, S4, and then he's got battery and ground, and then I think it's TX3 and RX3. I think it's a, I think it's, oh my God, TX3, RX3, which these are insignificant to me. All I'm focused on is here. All right, now he's got an ESC. Okay, and on the ESC, now I have to flip, so let me go over there. And on the ESC, he's got a normal four and one, and he's got the following. S, oops, let me use this because I gotta fit all these on it. S1, S2, uh, S3, S4, TX, uh, VCC, and ground, okay? Now his question is, this plug is what? One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven pins. And here is one, two, three, four, five, five pins. Okay, and then here is two pins. Okay, and this is not including, this doesn't count the TX, for example. So here's what he's asked. He's like, well, what do I do? And I said, okay, here's what you're gonna wanna do. On this area here, you will cut your cable. So uh, you will take the VCC, I'm gonna try to use a different color here, but bear with me again. You will take the VCC, and the ground, and you'll run it like this. You will make sure to, whoops, to bring your, v, your battery to here for the VCC, and I probably could have used a different color, so let me take the ground, let me circle that, and you will take the ground, which is this orange one, and you will take the ground and wrap it to here, okay? So you're gonna basically split this cable up. So if you had a plug, and I'm sure I have one, um, I'll probably have one on my desk here, with all the other junk that I do. Oh, I know I gotta, okay, so let's say you have a plug, okay? Let's, just, let's say this is your plug here, and on both ends it's terminated, okay? So you have a plug on this side. I know I have one actually here. This is a perfect example right here, okay? So this is a standard plug, all right? Now this plug has, uh, I think it's a six pin. So you, you see how you have six pins here, right? You have to cut this off, okay? So you're gonna cut one end of it off. And when you do that, it's gonna look something like this. Now obviously this is a different plug, you're gonna cut one end off. You're gonna leave this plug plugged into here. So do not cut the, just plug that in and make sure the side you plugged in, all the wires line up and match right. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your VCC and your ground, and you're gonna run your VCC from your ESC. You're gonna run it all the way to the battery input right here, okay? And if there's a, if there's a wire harness on here, then you'll basically cut one end, and you'll cut the other end, like these two that I have, and you'll splice them together, you'll solder them together, and then you'll use heat shrink to cover them, okay? So you will take the wires from this plug for battery and ground, and if they're terminated, you will cut that off, and you will solder it to the wires coming out of the VCC. You will take the ground pin, and you'll do the same to the ground side coming out of the VCC here, okay? 
You will do the same thing on this side then. You will take wire one and solder it to your wire, signal one here, signal two wire to signal two here, signal three wire to signal three here, signal four to signal four here, okay? Now, as far as the ground goes, you can take the ground wire and you can splice it, you can solder it to any point on this ESC that has ground, or you can easily, because these are gonna be very close to each other, you can easily just attach it to the ground wire that's coming here, okay? So, now, that's how you do it. Now let's draw it a little bit better. So again, here's your flight controller, and here's your ESC, okay? Here, out of this section here, you will take your, uh, it is called bat, on the, on the uh, take your battery, and you will take your ground, okay? And then on the top, you'll take your ground, okay? And then you will take S1, S2, S3, S4. You will come over to your ESC. Okay? And the way your ESC is uh, the way your ESC is wired based on what I'm looking, you will take S1, S2, S3, S4, TX, and then you will take, I'm gonna color the same, so VCC, and you will take ground, okay? Now, since these are all a little bit better color coded, let's do this. Ground from here, the wire, and the ground from here wire, you will splice, solder, and heat shrink together, okay? VCC from here, and the battery from here, you will take those two wires, splice them, solder them, heat shrink them together, okay? <clears throat> then you will take S1 and S1, splice those together, S2 and S2, splice those together, S3 and S3, splice those together, S4 and S4, splice those together. The only thing left is the ground here. This ground again, you will basically be able to splice it directly into this ground, or you can attach it to any ground on the, on the ESC. Now, the other part of this is your TX here, okay? So this wire that you have on your T, I don't have another color, so I'll just use black for this one. Okay, this TX wire for the time being, uh, you can use that to connect, you, you have on this side, I believe, like I said, I believe this is TX3 and RX3, you can take this TX wire, okay, and you can connect it to your RX3 if you're going to be running, uh, if you're going to be running uh, some sort of telemetry between the ESC and the FC, okay? But you will be splicing both plugs. So you will take the ends of both plugs and cut them, since they're not going to fit into each other, cut them, line the wires up properly, make them match, solder them together, heat shrink them together, and you're done, okay? That is how you will connect your board here to an ESC that isn't the same brand, that was not made for this board, but will still work just fine, okay? The other option would be if you had pads here instead and just wanted direct solder. But I don't know after looking at the picture if you do. So if you have pads, I don't think that, I don't think that board's gonna have pads. It's too small of a board. It's an F20 board with very little space. If you had pads, like on the flip side, then if you, let's just say for example, if you turn this board over and you just had little pads here to solder to, right? And then you would be easier to just solder directly to the pads. It's a much better connection. But if you don't have little pads to solder to, or if it's too small for the soldering job for you, whatever, follow this method, you're golden, okay? I hope that helps. It's the best I got because I don't have both pieces of equipment here to do it for you, but I promise you if you just follow this, It'll work perfectly. Okay, guys, I hope that helps. And if you have any questions, let me know. We're still catching up here, guys. We, we have managed to slow things down a little bit. I'm extremely happy about that. Now I can tend to my customers one-on-one -on -one a little bit more. Um, so please let me know, and I hope this helps with the customer. We'll talk to you guys later. God bless, be safe, and we'll see you soon. Bye.